All right, so what you're looking at is the uh, XSX Series X 4K 120 hertz refresh rate with HDR. Now, this is the positive that I like about uh, Sirius X is that you can do 120 hertz with HDR. Uh, and that's pretty awesome for games like Call of Duty. And if you're going to play a Call of Duty, might as well play it with uh, HDR and 120 hertz and get that uh, dynamic 4K resolution. Now, keep in mind, this is not a native 4K, all right? This is some kind of a dynamic upscale to 4K resolution, and it's supporting a variable refresh rate, 120 hertz, uh, with HDR and 4K. So 120 hertz, HDR, and here you can check and see that you have 120 hertz. Go to graphics, now you know that it's enabled right there. That we have it. The ray tracing is disabled, but 120 hertz is enabled. Uh, now you're asking why ray tracing is disabled. Ray tracing is disabled because you wouldn't be able to get that 120 hertz uh, with a ray tracing. So to unlock this settings, you must have ray tracing data installed in the file management. And 120 refresh rate must be disabled. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Uh, 120 hertz is awesome. Uh, and it's great for low latency. But let's see if we try to uh, install the ray tracing inside our game management. And uh, let's see how that looks really quick, shall we? So how do you do this? You go to settings, go to the system, or actually general, go to TV display options, and select to 60 hertz. And now we're going back to 4K uh, 60 hertz refresh rate. And we're also going to select a instant game response because now that we don't have 120 hertz now we can utilize a uh, instant game response we'll turn it on right here this will give you a much better lower latency through HDMI 2.1 now we got the low latency um, and now we should be able to select a ray tracing but we got to do it through uh, data management which is the file management screen and we're gonna go over here see if we have it We might have to uh, reset the game. Let's do that really quick. Let's uh, just uh, let's quit that. And let's try to start the game again. Let's boot it up. I'm going to skip through this. All right, so let's go to uh, settings. Let's go to graphics. Ray tracing, it's enabled. Now we can go ahead and use it. And we're going to try it out. And the quality is going to be better because now we're getting a, a 4K, a true 4K with HDR and ray tracing. So now the, it's going to look so much better, obviously. Let's go to Nowhere Left to Run. Confirm. Let's go. You sure we can trust the police either? This guy's done more than less. All right, I have to turn this down because the the music copyright, I don't want to deal with the music copyright. 
So you've seen the campaign. Oh, ray tracing here. I definitely see it. And the quality, guys, this is top notch. All right, so now we're getting to the uh, the goodies of the Sirius, Sirius X. Now we're getting to the goodies, to the meat and the bones of uh, Sirius X. Um, and it looks phenomenal on this. Uh, look at his, uh, you can see triple X on his sunglasses. That looks amazing, bro. Now we are getting somewhere. Ray tracing, there it is. Now, obviously the frame rate's gonna be lower. Uh, we're not gonna have that frame rate that we did with 120 Hertz. And we're not gonna have that, obviously, latency that we had with a uh, 120 Hertz option. Well, this is why you can use uh, ray tracing HDR 4K for a campaign. And then you can use 120 Hertz for a multiplayer. Obviously, multiplayer, you wanna play with 120 Hertz. But, uh, the quality here it's pretty outstanding looks pretty darn good I think we'll see the ray tracing right over here a little bit better as we exit out like right here that looks great man look at the textures that looks delicious pick up a weapon um, now we can turn on the sound now keep in mind ps5 version will look identical to this to be honest and I haven't tested it yet but I will but one of the key differences with uh, ps5 version and the Sirius X version is that haptic feedback and that haptic feedback, look at this ray tracing. Look at it right there, you can see the reflection. Uh, the haptic feedback is gonna be, uh, to me, where this game will shine the most. Because everyone that I spoke to who played the PlayStation 5 version told me that uh, haptic feedback definitely adds to the uh, realism of uh call of duty now hold on let me adjust this really quick all right so let's resume what i'm adjusting is the exposure so that way the light that's being picked up doesn't bring all that brightness on the camera lens so i'm trying to contain the exposure from a camera lens in case you're wondering uh Again, I, I can see the quality. I can see the ray tracing being a big factor here. Definitely see the uh, reflection of the light. Ray tracing definitely adds up here, for sure. And it's not bad, not bad at all. go up there there he is I gotta admit, man, this looks very fluid. Uh, so, you know, 
So now I can see some benefits of Sirius X uh, console. I like it. Even at uh, you know ray tracing 4K uh, HDR, it still runs smooth, and that's great. And the quality in HDR is really top notch, man. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I would go as far as to say this looks even better than PC, man. Pick him up. Talk. Wait, wait, wait. I just handle the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. You have rules. I'm I'm kind of impressed that they're keeping a steady frame rate and fluidity even with uh even with uh, the ray tracing and uh, high textures and that uh, 4K resolution they're really keeping a smooth uh, performance here and that's impressive so you see I'm giving some positive feedback now I'm impressed okay. But when there's something that I have to uh, acknowledge as a as a criticism, negative, I will acknowledge. But here, I like this. This I like. I have no problem with this. You know. If you guys missed my 120 hertz uh, video of Call of Duty, go check it out. I'll be working on a. Uh, Dirt 5 120 hertz video as well. Well, there you go. Uh, it looks great. Like you can see, the ray tracing here it looks uh, definitely realistic. But the way that light shines with HDR on this OLED is truly remarkable. And um, I can see now the benefits of this is now next gen. This is the benefit of. Uh, Sirius X if if every uh, but we need more enhancements guys there's tons of games they're not supporting uh, Sirius X uh, enhancements and I want to see more games I want to see more games uh, support the uh, X maybe you guys can give me the list of uh, Xbox Sirius X enhanced games I mean, just that they are like next gen Sirius X. I know the FIFA and Madden are there, but uh, I want to see some more games for me to test. Uh, I like this. I mean, I like it. The detail. This is like better than PC. And I have a, a RTX 2060. And RTX 2060, it was good, but it wasn't as smooth as it is here. Remember, I look for important features like uh, the fluidity and smoothness of the gameplay. And I'm getting that here on the PC version it was kind of hit and miss but here it's really well optimized I think the word I'm using it's really well optimized and looks fantastic here with uh, ray tracing so not bad not bad at all so um, and again trying to capture this through a uh, camera it, it's really difficult to do because as you all know um, the camera lens will never be able to picture and depict the quality that your own two eyes are seeing but overall uh, very impressed that they have this feature for uh, 120 Hertz HDR I mean 120 Hertz HDR with 4k that's a that's a pretty big deal because uh, you containing the quality of HDR on that OLED and 120 Hertz variable refresh rate with the HDMI 2.1 and then you can switch to a ray tracing 4k HDR 60 uh, but just keep in mind you're not going to be getting that 60 FPS uh, you know 
I don't know, maybe you are getting that 60 FPS HDR here. Um, honestly, it looks like a, a 4K 60 FPS to me uh, performance. So I guess you are getting a, a, a 4K 60 HDR with ray tracing. So that's a huge benefit, okay? If that's the case, I haven't watched the uh, Digital Foundry, but if that's the case, if you are getting 4K, 4K 60 HDR with ray tracing, which you probably you are, and looking at this and controlling this, it looks like it is 4K 60 HDR with ray tracing. Then that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty darn good. But if you want to switch to a multiplayer, then you can switch to a 120 Hertz HDR dynamic 4K. Uh, but I would suggest 120 uh, Hertz refresh rate, man. That's where you truly want to play a Call of Duty game. Uh, but hey, pretty impressive. Uh, so far, All right? So there you go.